In this presentation, we're going to look at the drop shipment functionality in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. First, we create a sales order, uh, referred as direct shipment. We create the purchase header that refers to the sales order. We post the purchased receipt, post the sales invoice, and post the purchase invoice. So first, let's create a new sales order. We're going to indicate a ship to code that will define where the customer wants it to be shipped. We create one line and let's make a second one. And what's important here, we click on the drop shipment or alternatively you can go on the purchasing code and select drop ship. We release a sales order and now we're going to go to the purchase orders. We create a new one, indicate the supplier and now we're going to go to the shipping tab, indicate the sell to customer and the, in the ship to code where it is going to be delivered. So now instead of creating lines, we go to the drop shipment icon, get sales order and select, select the sales order. So the two item lines have been retrieved. And now we can post the receipt. If we try to post the purchase invoice right now, we get an error message, which I think it's more a technical restriction than a business logic reason. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to post the sales invoice. and go back to the purchase order and finish the the job by posting the purchase order to an invoice. 